हेलो नमस्ते फैंस वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इंडियन ओनली टूडेज वीडियो अबाउट दी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू केप ऑफ इंडिया कॉन्टेस्ट ऑडिशन विच इज ऑल्सो एन ऑडिशन फॉर केप ऑफ वर्ल्ड फेस्टिवल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू वॉट इज केप ऑफ इंडिया कॉन्टेस्ट वॉट इज केप ऑफ वर्ल्ड फेस्टिवल ऑडिशन क्वालिफिकेशन और एलिजिबिलिटी फॉर ऑनलाइन राउंड explanation of this contest rules what they want to see in their winners and some more details but before that if you are new on our channel then please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to know more about the upcoming kpop audition informations and tips you can also follow me on instagram for my upcoming videos update and some more information that i am unable to share on youtube the id link is in description box now let's start our video What is K-pop India contest? K-pop India contest is being held every year since 2013 by Korean Culture Center India. Korean Culture Center India is an organization whose work is to spread Korean culture in India. This contest is to encourage Indians towards K-pop music and Korean culture. This contest usually has 3 rounds: online round, regional round and final round. Last year thousands of applicants participated in online round from across the country and then hundreds of selected winners from preliminary round competed in the regional round comprising of 20 cities and from each city they chose two finalists one in vocal and one in dance category it means total 40 finalists from 20 regions here region means they choose one city in each 20 states and candidates who are from this region or near this region can apply in this contest and after this those 40 participants competed in final round What is K-pop World Festival? The K-pop World Festival is an annual K-pop talent competition organized by South Korea's Ministry of Foreign Affairs with the support of numerous government agencies. After going through a few preliminary rounds, fans of K-pop are invited by the South Korean government to take part in the final round of the competition held every year in Changwon, South Korea. That's why it is also called Changwon K-pop World Festival. Just like K-pop India contest, other countries also take auditions and final winners from these countries take part in K-pop World Festival. And then from these countries anyone becomes final winner of K-pop World Festival. There are also runner-up awards in this K-pop festival. In 2016, BTS, Monster X, Astro and some other K-pop idols joined and performed in this festival. Priyanka Mazumdar, who is now member of Z-pop girl group, won the third prize in 2016, and dance team Immortal Army won second prize in 2017 at the K-pop World Festival. Many famous K-pop idols become guest of this festival. In 2017, BTS came as guest and gave awards to the winners, and in 2020, K-pop K-pop India contest final round which was online BTS came to cheer up the finalists and they said they will watch their performances in 2020 and 2021 this festival was not conducted due to covid-19 pandemic but now this year in 2022 it's going to be held again and finalists from all over the world including India will compete in this K-pop 2022 world festival So now let's know rules and other details for K-pop India contest 2022 and try our talent and luck in this audition. Online round rules. Notice we request all participants to follow the safety guidelines issued by their state government. We also request all participants to wear a mask if filming in public spaces. For the 2022 dance category, both solo and group members are allowed to participate. Maximum number of people in dance and vocal group is 13 people. They specially gave this notice because in their previous post they said that for dance category they will allow only group entries but now they have changed it and now both solo and group members can participate in this contest remember you can have only maximum 13 ma- people in your group you can't add more than 13 members in your group and there is no minimum members number to have in your group if you are filming in public place then please remember to wear mask 
eligibility means qualifications to apply in this audition. Anyone interested in K-pop Indian nationals currently living abroad can participate as long as they are able to attend the regional round in India. Non-Indians cannot participate in the contest. It means there is no age or gender restrictions. Any Indian boy or girl from any country and of any age can apply in this contest as long as he or she is able to attend regional round which is expected to be held offline in India. And please remember that you will travel to India for regional round on your own expenses. First prize winning teams or solo acts from previous years are not allowed to participate as the same group or members of different groups. Second prize winning team or solo acts from 2020 are not allowed to participate as the same group or members of different groups. It means if you were first or second prize winner in K-pop India contest then you can't apply in it again. Participants can submit entries for both vocal and dancing categories, but not more than one entry per category. It means you can apply for both dance and vocal category, but you can't apply two times for same category. Means suppose you have filled two application forms and in both application, if you will apply only for vocal category or only for dance category, then this is not allowed. But yes, if you will fill two form and in one you will choose vocal and in another one you will choose dance category then there is no problem with it by participating in the contest participants agree and give their permission to all related parties to record film photograph audio tape or videotape their performances and to display publish or distribute these works for publicity or advertising purposes. Here it means that you are allowing them to use your provided files for broadcasting and other purpose. Here simply they were asking you whether you allow them to use your video to show on YouTube and television or not. Any individual or group of individuals or organizations etc. associated with the current year's K-pop India contest cannot participate in the contest as they will have access to all information and it will give them an additional leverage. It means Anyone who is connected or working with Korean Culture Center to conduct this contest won't be able to participate in this contest. General Rules Solo entries for dance are allowed. All participants must note till date K-pop World Festival does not permit solo entries. If the winner of the K-pop India Contest 2022 is a solo performer, they will not get the chance to apply for the K-pop World Festival and will not get to apply again in the future. It means this year K-pop World Festival is taking only group entries. That's why Korean Culture Center says that if a solo performer will become winner of this contest, then he or she may get some award like visiting to Korea or some prize money. There is nothing fixed about award. But he or she will not get chance to participate in this year's K-pop World Festival. And as per the rules, the winner also won't be able to apply in next year's K-pop India contest. So there may be no participant from India in 2022 K-pop World Festival. But here they also say till date K-pop World Festival does not permit solo entries. It means there are chances that K-pop Festival will also allow solo performers to participate this year's K-pop Festival festival. They may change rules by time. The performance team must have the same number of members as the group they are covering. For example, performance team covering BTS must have 7 people in their team. Maximum number of people for both vocal and dance category is 13. It means if you are performing solo then choose a song which only one person has performed. And if you are performing as group then choose a song which is performed by a group and which has same number of members as you have and please remember that you can't have more than 13 members in your group. Entries will be accepted from 4th April 2022 11 a.m. IST till 28th April 2022 11 a.m. IST. No entries will be entertained after the deadline. So, the registration form for online round will be open in this time period and on 28th April after 11 a.m. IST, registration form will be closed. Entries containing any obscene, provocation, inappropriate contents will be automatically disqualified. So don't choose any song that has abusive language and also don't go for any very sexy performance and costume. Multiple entries per category will lead to disqualification. 
I have described this point that you can't apply for one category more than one time. Any entry apart from K-pop will not be entertained. K-pop stands for Korean pop music. So in this contest, you will have to perform a song only and only in Korean language. You can't sing any other song. You will have to perform original and official Korean song. One full song must be performed. There is no limitation on time. It means you need to perform full Korean song no matter how long it is. K-pop contest 2022 India is a nationwide contest and participants can upload videos irrespective of whether their city is chosen as a regional round venue or not. Participants must apply only to the reason that they are currently based in or nearest to. Here, its simple meaning is, if your city or region name is not in the list, so you can apply in your nearest region. Means, if Bhopal is the region, so everyone from Madhya Pradesh can apply in Bhopal region. But suppose you are living in Gwalior, which is in Madhya Pradesh, but Agra city is in the list of region. Agra, which is in Uttar Pradesh state. Then of course, you will choose Agra for your reason because it's the nearest one. Full names of all participants should be clearly mentioned in the registration form. Direct point of contact provided in the registration form should be active with communication. It means make sure that the contact number you are providing is in use and active with communication. In case of any invalid misinformation or not fulfilling the criteria of the registration form will lead to disqualification. So make sure to provide full and true information in the form. No surprise is allowed, throwing glitter, water gel or any material. So you can't use this type of surprises in your vocal or dance performance video. Props directly related to the choreography can be used if Korean Culture Center sees a fit. If a participant wishes to use a prop in the cover, they must approach Korean Culture Center first. Here it means suppose you are gonna perform a dance choreography which needs a chair to perform a short part of chair dance because it's in the real K-pop choreography. Then still you will first need permission of Korean Culture Center to use this chair. You can ask for their permission by email or direct message on their Instagram. Rules for vocal category The K-pop song should be covered 100% and freestyle is not allowed. So it means you can't perform freestyle or self-written song. You need to do a song cover. No English songs or English versions of Korean songs will be acceptable, even if performed by Korean artists. So if any K-pop idol has covered or performed any English song, it doesn't mean that you can also perform that song just because a K-pop idol has performed it. You definitely need to sing a K-pop song. Rapping is allowed. Please note that in this case, the selection criteria for vocalists will be utilized to mark your performance and hence if you are confident in your rapping skills and pronunciation you may apply so you can also apply for rapping talent studio recording is not allowed mics are not allowed so you can't record your video in any studio and you can't use any mic just use your by default mobile mic merging of songs is not allowed editing of videos in any form is not allowed we request participants to not use any filter or effect or camera work as it can be perceived as editing by the judges and could lead to disqualification. So make sure not to edit or merge your performance video. All participants should film their videos clearly. Vocalist face must be clearly visible in the video. So make sure to record your video in a bright place showing your face clearly. But if you are recording your video in public then wearing a mask is required. The video sound quality should be good. Vocals should be audible. Vocals should be audible means they can listen your lyrics clearly. Playing instruments is not allowed. You can't play any instrument by yourself. But yes, you can use any instrumental or karaoke background music. The one which doesn't have vocal sound in it. Rules for dance category most of these points are similar as vocal category. The K-pop song should be covered 100% and freestyle is not allowed. No English songs or English versions of Korean songs will be acceptable even if performed by Korean artists. Solo entries are not allowed. The performance team must have the same number of members as the group they are covering. For example, performance team covering BTS must have 7 people in their team. I have explained this point earlier. The main criteria for judging will be similarity between the official choreography of the song and the submission by participants. 
merging of songs is not allowed it means they will see how good you do dance cover of that song and how much similarity you have with the real choreography and of course they will choose that person or group that will do the best dance cover editing of videos in any form is not allowed we request participants to not use any filter effect or camera work as judges can perceive it as editing and could lead to disqualification all participants should film their videos clearly it is not allowed to overlay music over the video here it means you can't do that once you have recorded your dance by playing song in your mobile but its sound was low so you will think let's add music with any app i mean you need to open your camera play music in a good music box so that it is audible in the video and perform your dance on that music at the same time so that you won't need to edit music after recording your dance video i mean any type of editing any type is not allowed mm, did you understand what i really mean let's see next point participants should know the lyrics of the part they are covering it means you should know the meaning of that song means you should understand the lyrics dancer face must be clearly visible in the video video quality should be good online round selection criteria for vocal ability 60% expression and pronunciation 20% stage charisma 20% for dance choreography means composition uniformity similarity to the choreography 40% technique 30% stage charisma 30% you can think these percentages as number allotment in vocal there are 60 marks for your singing ability 20 marks for your face expressions while singing and your pronunciation and 20 marks for your stage charisma in dance there are 40 marks for choreography how similar you perform 30 marks for your dance technique and 30 marks for stage charisma in vocal category they will focus on three main points your ability to speak korean your expression and pronunciation and your stage charisma means how you look when you perform they will see are you confident while performing or you are afraid you are enjoying the song that you are performing or not and many more points like this in dance category they will check how good you perform the choreography how exactly you copy the steps with your own techniques expressions are also important while performing be confident enjoy your performance don't go out of the frame of your camera and show your charm on the stage That's all for today's video. I hope this video helped you a lot. If yes, then please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and support to our channel. I will meet you tomorrow and will tell you this audition's details and step by step application process. So let's meet soon until then. Bye bye. Take care. Love yourself and be happy.